It weighs 130 tonnes, it's more than 250 metres long and it's blocking one of the biggest sewers in London. The object in question is a mass of grease bound with all kinds of other waste, widely referred to as a fatberg, and specialists have spent weeks trying to cut it down to size and remove it. And our science editor David Chuckman has been given exclusive access to the teams doing the work. In East London this morning, Chris Casbolt embarks on one of the worst jobs in the world. He checks a sensor that will detect toxic gases. He's given a constant supply of fresh air. <laughs> this is what's needed to fight what's called a fatberg down in a sewer. We give Chris and a colleague cameras to capture what they're facing. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. I asked to join them but wasn't allowed. They're venturing into extremely dangerous territory. They arrive in an alien and hostile world. A supervisor calls out to check the gas. What's the gas reading there? That's true. In the hot, fetid air, the fat releases fumes of sulphur. This narrow tunnel is the only access to the fat burn. But right now it's too deep in sewage for anyone to pass. A pump is used to try to clear it, but gets blocked with chunks of fat. Right, the suction's blocked. Suction's blocked? Yes. Yeah. Then the flow begins. Yeah, right, it's dropping, mate, it's dropping. The way is now clear, but the tunnel is too low to stand in. Right? So Chris has to hunch and shuffle in the dark. At last he can do what he was sent for. Hack away at a congealed mass of fat, tampons, wipes and condoms. It's blocking most of the sewer. Pressure hoses can't be used because the brickwork is damaged, so it's one shovel stroke at a time. And it's hard to believe this is happening in 21st century Britain. While they're working, the pipe reaching the surface twitches as each lump of fat passes through. But the work can't go on for long. It's just too hard. Look at how tired Chris is Woo! and what he's covered in. It's horrible down there, man. There's so much fat everywhere. So, I mean, even upstream, upstream, you can see 20 metres that way is fat. So, I mean, it is solid. And this is a piece of the fat burg, a compacted mass of oil, fat and grease. It's rock solid. And as you'd expect, it smells a bit like a blocked toilet and rotting meat. And the real problem here is that the only way to get it out is by hand. This is a national problem affecting countless sewers and it's getting worse. Since the Victorians built the network, the population has grown and diets have changed. Fried food and takeaways mean more grease is flowing into drains. There are devices to trap fats, but few places have them. We've visited over 700 food service establishments, takeaways, restaurants to really understand what they're doing with the fats, oils and greases that they pour down the sink. And we found that over 90%, around 90% have no type of fat removal to trap that fat and stop it going into the sewers. The fat is hard to break apart. It'll be turned into fuel. But as one of the sewer teams recovers, the hope has to be that less fat will end up underground in the first place. David Shukman, BBC News.